Hello and welcome to the European Junior Classic Powerlifting Championships here in Budapest, Hungary. I'm Emilia Potter and this afternoon for you we have a very exciting flight. We have two flights of 93s, the B flight followed by the A flight. We have some very strong lifters coming up for you this afternoon. We had a really exciting session this morning. The 43s, 47s and 69Bs. We have the 69A group later, but for now, as you can see on the screen, the running order for the first flight of 93s. And just a reminder, although we will see their squat placement jump around throughout, you won't know who walks away with the medals until we have seen both flights compete. And we have our first athlete out now, Kyunku Zak of Malta, 190 kilos for his opening squat. That was a lovely easy opener and a good lift. kilos now for Yuri Bilko of Czechia. This is his last year as a junior, so likely his last competition as one. Yeah, really nice opening weight there for Yuri. And two to one, a good lift. Gets a blue from the right-hand side referee. Watch that again on the replay. I think he referenced his knees there for a soft lockout, but the jury seemed happy with it. Two hundred two point five kilos for Matic Porodos of Slovenia. Wow, super easy looking opener for Matic. And three white lights, a good lift. Two hundred and ten kilos for Luke Brinkatstellini of Malta, opening just ten kilos below his current best. Just nice and set under the bar in a low bar position. The weight moves well for him. Let's wait for the lights. Two to one, a good lift. It's a depth ball from the center referee, which is the hardest position to dial depth from. Usually, if you get whites from either side, you're probably gonna be safe from the jury. Two 
220 kilos for Jean-Philippe Hyde of Belgium. his time to make sure the bar is exactly where he wants it on his back. That moved well. Three-way light is a good lift, a very tall 93. And 20 kilos for Viktor Hubacek of Czechia. Fresh into the juniors and the sub juniors as he's only 19 years old. Nice and snappy opener for Victor. Two to one, a good lift. Gets a depth call from the right hand side referee. Now let's look at that again in the replay. Although this is the side he gets the white from. And I think to be okay with that. Some athletes do struggle getting both hips down to depth. So sometimes do get recurring reds on one side. But as long as they get two whites, they'll be okay. 227.5 kilos for Remy Tregen of Switzerland. 20 kilos below his current max. Three white lights, a good lift for Remy. Hadn't seen a Swiss athlete for most of the competition, and now we get two back to back. Eric Schwarzenbach of Switzerland. 227.5 kilos, only 10 kilos below his current best. With only one year competing experience, so likely still trying to figure out how strong he actually is. Lovely and deep there. That is a good lift for Eric. Hergerek of Croatia, 230 kilos for his opening squat. So seven and a half kilos below his current best. And moving extremely well. Three white lights, a good lift. Two lifts remaining before we head through to the second round of squats for this first flight of 93s. If you haven't seen your friend or family member yet, 
They were unlikely to be in the next flight of lifters. Gerlai Andras of Hungary, 235 kilos. Very easy looking opener for Andras. And a good lift. We now have 240 kilos for Manos Meriotis of Greece. Opening with his matched squat PB. Been competing less than a year. And looking very, very strong there. Three white lights, a good lift. And that concludes our first round of squats with everybody managing to get a squat in on the board can continue to build their total safely for now. Now have Zach Koyunku of Malta, 202.5 kilos. Getting very near his current squat PB with this second attempt should he get it. Ooh, a sticking point there. Unfortunately, no lift for Zach. His opener was very easy, and actually, I was quite surprised he didn't get through that sticking point. It didn't look like he tried to exert all of his energy there, but yeah, he got so close to standing that up. Perhaps he does have a shot of that on his third, and he has the chance to retake it should he want to. Two hundred and ten kilos for Yuri Bilko of Czechia, and he is not wasting one second. Gets straight onto the platform and under the bar. And still moving really well for him. Three white lights, a good lift. Two hundred and fifteen kilos for Luke Brinkat Stellini of Malta. The fifteen sorry, a five kilo jump from his opener, just five kilos below his current squat PB. Seen a lot more Maltese lifters compete since they held open worlds this year, which is fantastic. Tiny bit more work, but still moving pretty smoothly. Let's wait for the lights. Two to one, a good lift. Still getting a red call there for depth. But the jury seem happy to keep that as a good lift. 215 kilos for Matic. Parados of Slovenia. 12 and a half kilo jump from his opener. Oh. 
very nice and controlled from Matic and still moving so easily for him. Three white lights, a good lift. He puts himself into a great position heading into third attempts. Jean-Philippe Haidt of Belgium, 232.5 kilos. A 12.5 kilo jump from his opener. Getting just 5 kilos within his personal best of 237.5. Should he make this second attempt? <laughs> Lovely and deep. Pushes through that sticking point. And it is a good lift. Slows down a little bit from his first. We see where that sticking point comes in for him. Just, uh, but he breaks through it well with a little bit left in the tank for his third. Let's go. Let's go. 232.5 kilos for Viktor Hubacek of, of Czechia. To be for a two and a half kilo personal best, should you get this? Lovely tidy squat there from Victor. Again, just like his opener, really easy for him. Two to one, a good lift. Gets a depth call from the right hand side referee. Now we'll watch the replay as will the jury. This of course being the side he gets the white from. It will remain a good lift. Eric Schwarzenbach of Switzerland now, 235 kilos, just two and a half kilos below his current best. Opener looked good. This is seven and a half kilo jump. Still moving well, slight sticking point, a good lift. And we, when we start to see it slow down in certain points, we know that is likely where the sticking point will be as the weight gets heavier. But one that hopefully he can continue to push through. Luka Hogarek of Croatia, 237.5 kilos. A seven and a half kilo jump from his opener to match his current squat PB. Still nice and smooth. Let's wait for the lights. And it is a good lift. Remy Tregan at Switzerland now 240 kilos. 12 and a half kilo jump from his opener. Oh. 
Lovely and deep again. And a lovely looking second attempt from Remy. Three white lights, a good lift, and plenty left in the tank for his third attempt. Wow, would you look at that depth? Not leaving any room for doubt. Gerlai Andras of Hungary, 247.5 kilos and getting a lot of support here from the home crowd. Just two and a half kilos below his current best squat. And it looks good. Three white lights, a good lift for Andras. Again, a little sight into where the sticking point might be for him, but not yet, and one hopefully he can push through on his third. We now have Manos Mariotis of Greece, 252.5 kilos, 12 and a half kilo jump from his opener. Opening attempt look very easy. Already opening on his current best, as we've seen many of the Greek athletes do so. And it works well for them. Watch out, world. Greece are coming through. Three white lights, a good lift. Well, yeah, a lovely squat there and so many more Greek athletes this year. It's fantastic to see. And as we head into the final round of squats for the first flight, we have Manos of Greece leading with 252.5, followed by Andras of Hungary and Dragan of Switzerland. Of course, this is subject to change as we have the final attempts of this flight and all three attempts from the A group. Zach Koyenku of Moltenau 202.5. Couldn't quite get through that sticking point on his second, but got very, very close. Probably closer than he thought. Can he get through it now? It looks like it. Yeah, it definitely didn't look like a strength issue on his first, on his second rather. It's a good lift. He just got very close to the top and probably felt like he was lower down than he was. And you can see here, his coach probably said you were so close to finishing it just keep pushing and he did so on his final attempt and got it we have Luke Brinkatstellini of Malta jumping another five kilos to match his current squat PB of 220 just putting his wrist straps on there as the only piece of equipment you can adjust on the platform is your belt. Let's go. So for a Keep match squat PB squats. and three for three on squats, 220 kilos for Luke Brinkatstellini. Wow, a lovely looking third for Luke. And a good final attempt selection from the coaching team. Three white lights, a good lift. Maybe had a couple extra kilos, but it's not always worth squeezing every kilo out straight from squats when you have six lifts remaining. We have Yuri Bilko of Czechia, 220 kilos, a 10 kilo jump from his second. And again, wasting no time getting under that bar. Wow, 
Wow, a lovely looking third. A good lift. Matage Paredos of Slovenia, 225 kilos. Just two and a half kilos shy of his current personal best, should he make this. Wow, <laughs> he does it with ease. Plenty left in the tank there for Matic. And two to one, a good lift. There's a depth call from the far side referee from this angle you get here in the replay. But that will remain a good lift. Seven squats remaining before we head through to the A flight. First of which, Jean-Philippe Hyde of Belgium, 237.5 kilos for a matched squat PB. Making sure he's 100% set and ready to take the weight. Just needs the start command before the time runs out. And he gets it. Wow, what a fight and a perfect call there from the Belgian team. Just wait for the lights and it is two to one, a good lift. There's a depth call from the side referee. But I think it will remain a good lift. And wow, what a great fight. 242.5 kilos for Luka Hugarek of Croatia. A five kilo jump and will be a personal best for him should he get this. Fantastic third attempt, seeing some great calls from all the coaches and all the teams here in the first flight. That is a good lift. Of course, there's a tiny little bit less pressure for them to be fighting for positions. So going three for three on each lift carries a lot of importance just for the athlete to have a good day, maybe hit some PBs, which it looks like a lot of these athletes are. Eric Schwarzenbach of Switzerland, 242.5 kilos for his third and final attempt and a personal best. Wow, what a fantastic effort. And it is a good lift. Getting a masterclass in number selection from these athletes here, wow. Just four lifts remaining before we head through to the next flight of lifters. We have Viktor Hubacek of Czechia, 245 kilos. A 12 and a half kilo jump 
again from his second for a new personal best. Yet again, a fantastic third attempt. Two to one, a good lift. He does get a depth ball from the side referee. Have a look at that in the replay. But I think he will be absolutely fine there. Three third attempts remaining. Remy Tragen of Switzerland, 250 kilos, two and a half kilo personal best, should he make this. Fantastic fight yet again. Beautiful third attempts we're seeing here. Three white lights, a good lift. Look at that, still maintains that excellent depth and keeps his position all the way through. Two squats remaining. We now have Gerlai Andras of Hungary, 255 kilos, seven and a half kilo jump for his second, for a five kilo personal best. Wow, he is a fighter. Oh, unfortunately, could not make it through and I didn't want to say anything yet but wow if you could see how green that scoreboard is with just two misses out of that entire flight and one squat remaining a fantastic effort from these lifters our last squat in this first flight Manos Mariotis of Greece 257.5 kilos a five kilo jump a personal best attempt for the 19-year-old. Ah, oh, unfortunately, just a little bit too much for him today. But that still leaves us with an impressively green scoreboard with just three misses in that entire squat session. And let's hope that's for telling for the next flight of lifters. Heading forward through to B, we have Manos of Greece with 252.5, followed by Tregan of Switzerland with 250, and Andras of Hungary with 247.5. This is subject to change as we see the eighth flight now come through attempting their squats with some huge opening attempts. Some light body weights there. Remy Tragen weighing in at 86.94. Carol van der Velpen of Belgium opening on 240 kilos. The squat record in the Opens Juniors, both held by Anatoly at 331 from 2019. Oh. 
Looks good. And three white lights, a good lift. 32 and a half kilos below his squat PB, so opening quite conservatively, which is always smart. Two hundred and forty kilos for Philip Marino Sanchez of the Netherlands. Started bulking up to the 105s before he got the call to come to Euros, so had to then cut back down to the 93s. A lovely opening attempt there. Just 20 kilos below his max. And a good lift. As the weight classes get heavier, saying just 20 kilos away from the max is a lot less dramatic than if it was, a let's say, a 53. We now have Timotej Kolmanko of Slovenia. 245 kilos. A nice relaxed approach to the platform. Just needs to get the start command before the time runs out. He has 36 seconds left in the clock, so should be okay. Gets the start command. Wow. And that caused him no issues whatsoever. Three white lights, a good lift. Also seeing some great Slovenian athletes this championships. We now have Jordi Corbella Edo of Spain, 247.5 kilos for his opening squat. Wow. So, so fast. Three white lights, a good lift. Spain producing a lot of excellent squatters in the last couple of years. Two hundred and fifty five kilos for Marcus Kruhofer of Denmark. Looks good, nice and steady. Three white lights, a good lift. Not the quickest opener we've seen, but some lifters just don't work like that. As long as he can keep that position, it looks like he can continue to push through difficult lifts. Luca Umberto Angrisano of Italy, 255 kilos. nominated totals put in at fourth overall. Let's see what he can do today. Looking very strong. And it is a good lift. Always a big relief for the lifters when they get that first squat successfully out the way. First lift is done, they can shake the nerves off. 260 kilos for Jack Hopkins of Great Britain. Projected in second overall, a contender for that gold medal. 
So every kilo and every lift is going to count. Only 20 years old, has already been competing for five years. So already a well-known name. Oh, that was nice and easy for Hopkins. Three white lights, a good lift, a strong start to the competition. Four openers remaining before we move through to the second squat attempts. Aguin of Germany, 260 kilos, opening just 10 kilos, oh, 10 kilos above actually, wow, his squat PB. Still another year left in the juniors after this. Very strong there. Wow, a lovely looking opener. And a good lift. Although he seemed a little bit unsure of it at the top there once he completed it. But from here, it looked like a great opener. How it felt, maybe a different story. Two hundred and sixty two point five kilos for John Vertel of the Netherlands. Opening just five kilos below his squat PB. Looks nice and steady. Three white lights, a good lift. Our penultimate opening attempt now. And we have Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain, 270 kilos. Competed for the first time internationally in Romania and managed to pull himself onto the podium with his final deadlift. Nominated in bronze overall. Let's see if he can get that and maybe even higher today. Wow, easy looking opener for Nathaniel. Three white lights, a good lift, and seems to be on good form today. There'll be a big battle for the medals at the top and a big contender here. We have Malik Benusi Triole of France. Just missed out on gold in Romania to Nathan. Dropped his last two deadlifts, looking to make up for it here. 280 kilos. A big smile at the top to let everyone know he feels good. Three white lights, a good lift. An incredible young talent. It's his first year as a junior this year. And he has so much, well, not just potential, already he is so strong. Nominated right up there, already holding the junior bench record. As we can see, after completing the opening attempts, everybody managed to get one in. Malik Bernouse Trile of France leading, followed by Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain and 
John Averto of the Netherlands. 250 kilos for Karel van der Velpen of Belgium. A 10 kilo jump from his opener. Clips the rack there, but manages to stabilize himself. Oh, it's a bit more work, and he gets stuck a little bit in the middle, but manages to fight through. And it is a good lift. Not too sure how much more he has in the tank after that. Seemed pretty difficult. Perhaps he had a big cut into the class or travel. Absolutely plays a factor, but he makes a lift. Philip Marino Sanchez of the Netherlands, 250 kilos. A 10 kilo jump from his opener. Sporting that lovely black and orange SBD singlet. Good from here. Three white lights, a good lift. Yeah, Timote Kalmanko of Slovenia, 260 kilos. A 15 kilo jump from his opener and just five kilos below his current squat PB. Wow. Still moving so incredibly well for Kamanko. Two to one, a good lift. It's a depth call from the left hand side referee. We look at that again in the replay. It looks okay. As the athlete's legs get bigger, it tends to be a little harder to tell. But looked fine there. Jordi Corbea Edo of Spain. 262.5 kilos, a 15 kilo jump from his opener. His opener looked really excellent. And so does his second. Lovely and deep. Three white lights, a good lift. Pretty wide stance there we see less and less now with the narrow stance starting to become more popular in squat. Nice. 267.5 kilos for Marcus Gruhofer of Denmark. 12 and a half kilo jump from his opener. Slow and steady. Two to one, a good lift. Again, just getting a depth call from the right hand side referee. But that will remain as a good lift. Oh, it will not. The jury has overruled that. Thought they had moved past, but unfortunately, a no lift for Kruhofer. 
270 kilos for Luca Umberto Angrisano of Italy. A 15 kilo jump from his opener. And he smiles at the top. It's looking good. It's feeling good. And it is a good lift. And 75 kilos on the bar for Jack Hopkins of Great Britain. Just two and a half kilos below his current squat PB. This will move him into squat silver for the time being. And he's the lightest of the lifters to take this weight. Still moving so well. Nice and steady for Jack. And wait for the lights. Two to one, a good lift. Gets a depth call from the right hand side referee, which means the jury will review it. But they seem to be happy with that call. It remains a good lift for Jack. As I mentioned before, a few lifters taking the same weight here. Jack was the lightest of the three doing so. So he will take the medal position if it comes to it. John Vertel of the Netherlands, 275 kilos for his second attempt. 12 and a half kilo jump. This will be a personal best for John should he get this. It is work, but he manages to stand it up, and his face remains unbothered by it. Three white lights, a good lift. That calmness tells me that he's used to pushing through some difficult lifts, and he can do so. Now I have Semi Oyugun of Germany, 275 kilos, the heaviest of the three lifters to take this weight. So it won't move him into medal position, but we still have third attempts to go. nods it's still moving well I don't speak German but it looks like he's happy with it three white lights a good lift yeah lovely and deep there so it'll be a case of who can make the biggest jump successfully there to fight for bronze squat medal Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain, 282.5 kilos, a 12 and a half kilo jump, and this will already be a two and a half kilo personal best for Nathaniel should he get this. Looking to build some, mom some momentum here. And it's still moving well. Three white lights, a good lift. And he's not going to be only fighting Benusi Trile, but also his teammate Jack Hopkins up there at the top. 
It'll be an interesting battle all the way until the end. 290 kilos for Malik Manusi Triolet of France, a 10 kilo jump to move him back into squat gold. And for those all important kilos moving forward in the competition. And another smile, and another good looking attempt. Two to one, a good lift. Guess a depth call from the right hand side referee. The jury will review it, and so shall we. It will remain a good lift, which means heading into third attempts. Benusi Triolet of France leads in the squat with 290, followed by Messiah of Great Britain, 282.5, and Hopkins of Great Britain, 275 on body weight. We have coming out for his third and final attempt, Philip Marino Sanchez of the Netherlands, 255 kilos. Van der Velpen will not be coming out for his third. Lovely and deep. Oh, such a shame. Unfortunately, did a great job of pushing through, but um, just lost that balance at the top, tipped back, which unfortunately means it's a no lift. If you look at this, starts falling back, steadies himself, which is our natural response to do so, but loses him the lift. Only loses five kilos with that, however. Marcus Kruhoefer of Denmark missed 267.5 on his second. Has gone up two and a half kilos here for 270 on his third. Wow, a fantastic grind from Marcus. Let's look for the lights. <laughs> it is a good lift. The risk pays off of going up. He gets the 270 squat. And does an incredible job to keep that position all the way through. Jordi Corbea Edo of Spain, 270 kilos for his third and final attempt to match his current squat PB. He needs to re-rack, he says to the spotters, he wants to get into a... I think he's saying the plates are loose, he wants them tightened. And the time will be restarted for him as the bar was not fully prepared for the athlete. So he has the full time now, one minute. And the bar is now loaded for Jordi Cobea Edo. 270 kilos. You want to make sure that's nice and secure on your back. It's a lot of weight. Pays off for him. Hits lovely depth, fights it up. And it is a good lift. 
Showed fantastic composure there all the way throughout, before the lift and during it. Two hundred and seventy kilos for Timote Kolmanko of Slovenia. A ten kilo jump from his second, a five kilo personal best should he get this. His opener and his second both moved extremely quickly and well. Let's see how two seventy moves for him. And uh, yet again, extremely easy. And a good lift. I know one of these Slovenian girls yesterday was competing again in a couple of weeks and keeping it quite easy. Perhaps the same case. Perhaps just didn't know his own strength today. Either way, a fantastic squat session for Timotei. Just six squats remaining, and first of which, Luca Umberto Anglisano of Italy, 280 kilos. A 10 kilo jump will be a seven and a half kilo personal best should he make this. He nods, he smiles, he knows it's good. And it is. and 80 kilos for John Vertel of the Netherlands. Jumping five kilos, wanting to secure the extra kilos instead of fighting for a squat medal. And this will be a five kilo personal best for him should he make this. Unfortunately, just a little bit too heavy for John today. You can see here, just as he tries to get out of the hole, he shakes his head. You know usually pretty quickly if it is too much weight on your back. And there's no point wasting that energy. We have six lifts remaining. Four squats remaining. Jack Hopkins of Great Britain, 282.5 kilos to move him into squat silver for the time being. But he is playing the long game of racking up those kilos. He is well in the fight for overall. and works it up. Still pretty easy for Jack there, but playing it safe and it's the smart thing to do. Three white lights, a good lift, and moves into squat silver for the time being with three lifts left to go. And as I said, he is playing the long game there. It's better to walk away with a shiny medal overall than just one individual medal. We 
We now have Semi Aguin of Germany, 285 kilos, a 10 kilo jump for his second, for a 10 kilo personal best. To move him into squat silver ahead of Jack, he seemed pretty happy after his second. Let's see what 10 kilos does to that. And again, another relatively easy looking third attempt there. Three white lights, a good lift, and he moves himself into squat silver. And is well in reach of the podium overall as well, should he continue to compete well like that. Two hundred and ninety kilos for Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain. A seven and a half kilo jump to move him into squat silver. For the time being, he will definitely walk away with a squat medal. Should he get this? And another incredible third attempt. These 93s are not playing around. Three white light, a good lift. And it is going to be tight all the way until the end. He walks away with squat silver. And we just have one squat remaining. Malik Banusi Triole of France, 295 kilos already walking away with squat gold. He is ever so slightly lighter than Messiah, but this will give him an extra five kilos on his total, which he may need when it comes down to the fight overall. And it is moving. Another smile at the top. And a good lift for Malik. These top lifters really aren't allowing any kilos to slip them by. Strap in, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a bumpy ride. We have Malik Banusi Triole walking away with squat gold with 295, Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain with 290, and Semi Aguin of Germany with 285 in bronze. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere as we have a 10 minute break before bench press and we will see you then.
Hello and welcome back to the European Junior Classic Powerlifting Championships here in Budapest, Hungary. We have the 93 kilo juniors for you today, consisting of two flights, the B group followed by the A group. And a quick squat recap here. Malik Benusi Triolet of France walked away with squat gold with 295. In silver, Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain with 290. And in bronze, Semi Aiguin of Germany with 285. Now it's going to be a close battle between the top four there all the way through. But first up, we have the bench press and we have the B group. We'll see all three benches of them before moving through to the A group benches. The current junior record being held by Malik at 220.5 kilos which he got in Romania just weeks ago. And we kick it off with Jean-Philippe Heide of Belgium, 125 kilos. Nice, easy opener. Three white lights, a good lift. Now have Zach Koyinko of Malta, 125 kilos, opening on his current bench press PB. Lovely soft touch there. Clips the rack, but does a great job to let it not bother him. Keep the bar moving in an upwards direction. Three white lights, a good lift. One hundred and thirty for Luke Brinkat Stellini of Malta. Already opening two and a half kilos above his current max. A little bit slow there with the sticking point, but manages to lock it out, and it is a good lift. That could definitely be a positional error though, rather than strength error. Maybe a bit of nerves or not setting up correctly. You can see where the chalk is on his chest is a little bit higher than where he actually pressed. 132.5 kilos for Remy Tregan of Switzerland. Very easy. And three white lights. Yeah. 142.5 kilos for Matic Paredos of Slovenia opening just seven and a half kilos below his current bench press PB. Wow, extremely easy. Lightning quick. 
two to one, a good lift. Here's a yellow from the side referee, perhaps for a lift. Yeah, it looks like his glutes came a bit off of the bench there. The jury are reviewing it. And unfortunately have overruled it to a no lift. You have Manos Mariotis of Greece, 145 kilos. So Matic, his opener is a no lift. 10 kilos below Manos's current best bench. Three white lights and just as usual, a fantastic opener from Team Greece. Eric Schwarzenbach of Switzerland, 152.5 kilos, just seven and a half below his bench press BB. Very interesting setup there to get his feet in the best position for him to get an optimal arch. And that was lovely and easy for Eric. And a good lift. So as of this year, a new rule came in where you can't put your feet on the bench to set up. So you do see people get around that with some more extravagant setups. And when I see something like that, I usually expect they used to put their feet on the bench. One hundred and fifty five kilos for Yuri Bilko of Czechia. Has a personal best of one hundred and seventy two point five, so hopefully this is well within reach. Weighed in at eighty seven point five as well, so very light. Yeah, and that moved really well. Three my lights a good lift. And it's well worth just opening with something that you are super comfortable with. But if you need to retake it, you can. If you need to hold it on your chest for longer, you can. Gerlai Andras of Hungary, 160 kilos. Wow, lovely easy opener. Three white lights, a good lift. Luka Hugarek of Croatia now, 162.5 kilos. Opening just two and a half kilos below his current best bench. Looks good from here. And it is. Three white lights. A good lift for, for Luca. Yeah. Good leg drive without letting the hips come up there. Viktor Hubacek of Czechia. 162.5 kilos. Wow, extremely easy. And just seven and a half kilos below his current best. Does get a yellow from the center referee. Wondering if he skipped the command there. 
There are three commands you need to listen out for in bench press. Start, press, and rack. And if you jump any of those, it will be a yellow infraction. 130 kilos now for a second attempt for Zach Koyunko of Malta. With Uber one lifter managing to get an opening attempt in. Looks good, and that is a five kilo personal best for Zach. Three white lights. A seven and a half kilo jump for Jean-Philippe Haider of Belgium to 132.5. Some very long arms on him. I imagine a good deadlifter, but does not help him so much in the bench press. It's a long way for the bench to go. Twenty seconds left on the clock. Ooh, the left side locks out, and then the right. Great job to keep that moving and remain in a one direction. Three white lights, a good lift. And I think we have an idea of what his sticking point looks like as it gets heavier. Luke Brincastellini of Malta, 135 kilos. A five kilo jump from his opener. It'll be a personal best for Luke should he get this. Ooh, it is hard work off the chest, but very quick there at the top. Three white lights, a good lift. If you see here, quite difficult for the first portion of the lift, but then snappy at the lockout. One hundred and forty kilos on the bar for Remy Tregan of Switzerland. Seven and a half kilo jump. If this goes well, he'll be on track to beat his current best bench of 145. And that looks good. Three white lights, a good lift. And I think perhaps will match his best today. Very steady looking bench press. We now have Matic Paredos of Slovenia. Didn't get his opener as his butt came off the bench and got overruled by the jury. Has jumped two and a half kilos now to 145. Needs a bench press to be able to post a total. This will leave him just five kilos below his current best. And it still moved well, but I'm not sure if the butt moved or not. And he seems fine now. Three white lights, a good lift. One hundred and fifty five kilos for Manos Mariotis of Greece. This would match his current bench press PB. Looking to walk away with a big total PB and is on track for that right now. Still moving well, looks good. 
And it is. Good lift for Manos. Yeah, nice deep elbow depth there. No issues whatsoever. 162.5 kilos for Eric Schwarzenbach of Switzerland. A 10 kilo jump for his opener and a two and a half kilo personal best should he get this. Start command. We're stuck a little bit in the middle there. I don't think the bar went down. And he is fine. Three went lightly. Good lift. Getting a little bit more difficult now. His hands kind of roll with the bar, which I think made that a bit more difficult than it should have been. One hundred and sixty five kilos for Yuri Bilko of Czechia, a ten kilo jump from his first. one a good lift a yellow from the side referee which I'm wondering is if that is a lift of sorts yeah you can kind of see his hips shoot up there obviously from that angle we can't see whether there was any lift but the jury will now we have Luka Hugarek of Croatia 167.5 kilos a five kilo jump from his opener and will be a two and a half kilo PB should he make this. Two to one, a good lift. Gets a blue from the center referee, which usually would indicate soft elbows. But if he gets the rack and start command, usually he'll be okay. And yeah, I think he'll be fine there. Both him and Bill Crow's lifts remain good lifts. 167.5 kilos for Gerlai Andras of Hungary. Just two and a half kilos below his current best bench. Wow, and moving like an opener. Three white lights, a good lift. He shrugs his coach like, I don't know what happened, it just moved better. Wow, a fantastic attempt there. Our final bench press before moving through to the third attempt of this first flight of 93s. Viktor Hubacek of Czechia, 172.5 kilos, a 10 kilo jump, and will be a two and a half kilo personal best should you get this. Great shoes and sock selection there. Wow, another fantastic second attempt. Three white lights, a good lift. And with the power of Perry the platypus on his side. And that concludes our second attempt of this first flight for 93s. As you can see here with Hubacek leading with 172.5, followed by Andras and Hugarek with the next flight of lifters still to go. Kicking off our third attempts, we have Jean-Philippe Haid of Belgium, 135, a two and a half kilo jump from his second. So perhaps feeling like he's reaching his max here as he's opted for the minimum jump you can make without it being a record.
Well, again, the left arm locks before the right arm. But he manages to make it work. And it is a good lift. I think his coach might start program programming him some single arm work there. More on the right side than anything else. Zach Koyanku of Malta, 135 kilos for a personal best. And a fantastic third attempt there. Slow down a little bit, but not too much. And three white lights. One hundred and forty kilos for Luke Brinkat Stellini of Malta, a five kilo jump from his second for another personal best. Good fight, but unfortunately, a no lift. We now have Remy Tregan of Switzerland, 142.5 kilos, taking the minimum jump of two and a half, bringing him two and a half kilos lower than his current best bench press of 145. Oh, unfortunately not there today for Remy. It doesn't out lose out on too much as he did jump the minimum. Didn't waste too much energy there, pushing through a weight he wasn't gonna get. One hundred and fifty two point five kilos for Matic Paredos of Slovenia. A seven and a half kilo jump for a two and a half kilo personal best. Second looked good. And so does his third, a good fight there. Slight sticking point and two to one, a good lift. They called for yellow, which on the first one got overruled because of a butt lift. Yeah, and the jury will overrule that as unfortunately there was a lift again, unfortunately. That is a no lift for Paredes. We have Manos Meriotis of Greece, 160 kilos for yet another personal best on bench. And the spotters and loaders there unfortunately just started tipping backwards towards his head and once that happens it's very very difficult to come back from you see here presses and it starts as he pushes back but a fantastic job from the spotters and loaders keeping our lifters safe eric schwarzenbach of switzerland 167.5 kilos a five kilo jump for a personal best.
A fantastic push there from Eric. And a good lift, three white lights, and a new personal best. Seeing a lot of athletes break their personal best, not only once, but twice here in the bench press. One hundred and seventy kilos for Luka Hugrek of Croatia. Two and a half kilo jump for a new personal best. This will be three red plates in the gym. Oh, and that was a fantastic cool third attempt. And two to one, a good lift. It's a blue from the left-hand side referee. But I think he will be fine with that. 172.5 kilos for Gale Andras of Hungary. Five kilo jump, looking for a two and a half kilo personal best. Wow, <laughs> and did it with ease. Flexes the double biceps to the crowd and is ushered away by his coach. Yeah, great final attempt. Easily could have been second there. And maybe next time it will be. Yuri Bilko of Czechia, 175 kilos, just like his squat, not wasting any seconds getting on the platform. It's a great fight, but unfortunately not quite there. Uses the sinking technique, which can get you a lot of power off the chest, but once that momentum runs out, it's very hard to do so. Yeah, his feet were shaking quite a lot there. Our last bench press attempt in his first flight before we move through to the Group A 93s. Viktor Kubacek of Czechia, 180 kilos, a seven and a half kilo jump for a new personal best. This will be the first time he has those three red plates on the bar in competition for his bench. Wow, and a fantastic third attempt there. So tidy and a good lift. That concludes the first flight of 93s. We're now heading into the A group. You can see here with Hubercek leading, followed by Andras and Hugarek in the bench press. But this, of course, is subject to change as we see the A flight come through now. And kicking us off, we have Timote Kolmanko of Slovenia, 132.5 kilos. Really easy work there for Komanko. And a good lift. I've come to expect nothing else from the Slovenian team than excellent openers. And attempt selection. 150 kilos for Markus Kruhofer of Denmark last year as a junior after six years of competing and head into the Opens next year.
And 3 1 lies a good left. Just being there, told there by the TC, you have to sort your wrist straps out before you go onto the platform. 155 kilos for Philip Marino Sanchez of the Netherlands. Twelve and a half kilos below his current PB. Ooh, unfortunately, a no lift. Let's watch that again in the replay. An easy fix there for his second. He just jumped the command, but the strength is clearly there. Now have Luca Umberto Angrisano of Italy, 157.5 kilos. A little bit of work for Luca there. It looked like a good lift from here, and it was three white lights. We now have Carol van der Velpen of Belgium, 165 kilos. Chose to not come out for his final squat to save some energy for bench and deadlifts. If you feel like the effort would be fruitless, then can often be a great decision to make to give yourself a little bit of extra energy and time. And that is a good lift. Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain now, 167.5 kilos for his opening attempt. Daniel really shines in the deadlift, so looking to just grab a few extra kilos here. And that was a very easy opener and a good lift. Now have 167.5 kilos for Jordi Corbea Edo of Spain. Just two and a half kilos below his current best. Looked very, very solid and a good lift. Hundred and seventy five kilos for Aguin of Germany.
really nice and easy. Three white lights, a good lift. Just three bench presses remaining here in the opening attempts. We have John Vertel of the Netherlands, 177.5 kilos. Opening just two and a half below his bench press PB. Very, very easy there for John. And a good lift. If you're able to get the bar stationary in your chest quickly, you'll be rewarded with a quick press command. One hundred and eighty seven point five kilos for Jack Hopkins of Great Britain. Top athletes in this class are all very well rounded. And that was a super easy opener for Jack and a good lift. And that was only just below his current personal best of 190. Believe it or not. We have one final opening attempt, and it is from Malik Banusi Triolet, no less, the current world junior bench press record holder at 220.5, opening at 212.5 kilos. Fresh out the sub juniors, he is so strong. Wow. Would you look at that? Three white lights, a good lift. And this is where he really gains a lot of ground on his competition. His deadlift opener looks particularly low today, and I'm not sure I would believe that if I were you, ladies and gentlemen. And as we finish the opening attempts here, we can see Malik Banusi Triole is leading with 212.5 followed by Hopkins with 187.5, and Hubercheck from the first flight with 180. We have two attempts left for this A group. Timotej Kolmanko of Slovenia takes 140 kilos for his second attempt. Looked a little shaky under the bar, but still moved really well. And that is a good lift. He tells the spotter how he'd want his handout done differently next time, but it's worth rem reminding him beforehand as he will see a lot of lifters between then and now. Now, Philippe Marino Sanchez of the Netherlands jumped the press command on his opener, retaking 155 now on his second. Just needs to listen out for the centre referee to give him that command, and he should be okay. It moved fantastically the first time. Just needs to hold out a little bit longer. Gets the press command this time and still moves excellently. Three white lights, a good lift. We now have Marcus Kruhofer of Denmark, 157.5 kilos. 
This is just two and a half kilos below his current max. Wow, slow, but it is still moving. Ah, oh, unfortunately, couldn't keep it moving. There's a no lift. It was moving, but it was incredibly slow, and I imagine it felt even slower under that bar. And yeah, the left arm was moving, but the right arm seemed to stay in that position. 162.5 kilos for Luca Umberto Angrisano of Italy. This will be a two and a half kilo personal best should he get this. Manages to lock it out. Three white lights, a good lift. Gets a new personal best. One hundred and seventy kilos is on the bar for Carol van der Velpen of Belgium. A five kilo jump from his opener. Nice looking second attempt, solid I would say. Three white lights, a good lift. Keeps his position really well there, all the way throughout, if you watch here in the replay. Juri Cobea Edo of Spain, 172.5 kilos. This will be a two and a half kilo personal best, should he get this. Handled there by his teammate, competed earlier in the week. Yeah, that looks good. A nice solid second attempt and a good lift. Hundred and seventy five kilos for Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain to match his current bench press PB. Three red plates aside. Really solid still from Nathaniel. Three white lights, a good lift. Let's go. Come on. 185 kilos for John Vertel of the Netherlands. A seven and a half kilo jump from his opener. For a five kilo personal best, should he get this. Still moving really well for John. Ooh, but unfortunately, yeah, he double dipped there on his chest. Sorry, he beat the command, is what the yellow was for. You watch that here. Yeah, just met it a little too early there. 
It's a dangerous game to preempt when you'll get the press command. You have Aguin of Germany, 185 kilos. This will be for a two and a half kilo personal best, should he get this. He seems on really strong form today. Yeah, wow, still moving so incredibly fast. Rewind lights, a good lift. And just like his squats, he just keeps moving. Jack Hopkins of Great Britain now, 195 kilos. Seven and a half kilo jump from his opener. And a five kilo personal best, should he make this. A big bench press here. Being followed only by the world record holder to show you how good this is. And still moving like butter. And that is a good lift. Three white lights and plenty left in the tank. As I said on squats, he will be playing the long game. Our final second attempt here from the world record holder himself, Malik Benoussi Triolet of France, 217.5 kilos, just three kilos below his world record in the juniors. Wow, would you look at that power. Three white lights, a good lift. And Malik is on great form today. He is in his redemption. And that concludes the second round of bench press with Bernoussi Triolet leading with 217.5, followed by Jack Hopkins with 195 and Aguin of Germany the 185. We move into the third attempts now. Timote Kolmanko of Slovenia, 145 kilos to match his best bench. A very well called third attempt there. Three white lights, a good lift. And of those of you following the scoreboard at home, have probably just seen Bernoussi Triolet put in for a world record attempt. 221 kilos, beating his own that he got only weeks ago in Romania. 157.5 kilos for Marcus Kruhofer of Denmark. Missed this on his second. Looking to try and reattempt it here on his third for an extra seven and a half kilos on his total. Wow, fights through it this time round. What resilience. Three white lights, a good lift. And they come back from Marcus. Yeah, keeps with it the whole time there. The left arm did lock out first as before, but this time the right arm did follow. Philip Marino Sanchez of the Netherlands, 162.5. Jumped the start command on his opener, retook it. He's now jumping seven and a half kilos for his third. The weight is moving well. Hopefully this isn't a problem for him.
And I think he might have beat the command there. And one referee did call him for that, I believe, unless there was a lift of some sort. It was two to one, a good lift. And if the center referee is happy he didn't beat the command, then usually you'll be okay. But it was a very quick command in that case, and he must have met that. A good job. Luca Umberto Angusano of Italy, 165 kilos, a two and a half kilo jump from his second. So perhaps feeling like he's at his top end here, looking to grab an extra couple kilos. Yeah, unfortunately, doesn't lose out too much as he jumped the minimum amount, but perhaps felt after that second attempt, he'd squeezed all the kilos he could from his bench. Carol van der Velpen of Belgium, 172.5 kilos, a two and a half kilo jump from his second. A very solid looking third there for Carol. And a good lift, a perfect pull there. There's a big difference between a two and a half kilo and a five kilo jump. Especially on bench press. 175 kilos for Jordi Corbea Edo of Spain. A two and a half kilo jump and a two and a half kilo personal best should he get this. Those magic three red plates aside, a big milestone. A big fight, but he is glued in that position, unfortunately. And that will be a no lift. for Kobea Edo. We now have 177.5 kilos for Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain. Two and a half kilo jump for a new personal best to gain those extra kilos, which may be important later down the line. Wow, and a very easy third for Nathan. Didn't want to take the risk with the five kilo jump. Wanted to get as many kilos as he could as he is the biggest puller of the 93s. One hundred and ninety kilos for John Vertel of the Netherlands. Missed 185 on his second, has jumped five kilos anyway to his third in a hope to potentially get a bench press medal. This will move him into bronze for the time being. With Aguin to follow. And much, much better this time round. Three white lights, a good lift. He gains those extra kilos, moves into bench press bronze for the time being. So this is a bronze medal attempt on bench press, let's go. 192.5 kilos for Aguin of Germany. A seven and a half kilo jump to pull him into bench press bronze. gain all the ground he can, try and chase the podium. Go. 
Wow, another easy looking third. Three white lights, a good lift. And he is on form today. He moves into bench press bronze. We now have Jack Hopkins of Great Britain, 200 kilos, a huge milestone bench. This is a five kilo jump from his second, which was still moving well. Already has bench press silver. This will give him five extra kilos on his total, which may come in useful. Lovely soft touch and an easy looking third. Three white lights, a good lift, a huge milestone of 200 kilos and puts himself in a great position heading into deadlifts. One bench press remaining and as you can see, it is a big one. Malik Banusi Triolet for a new World record bench press, 221 kilos. To further improve his current record, to gain another three and a half kilos. Wow. Could have been a second attempt. Look at that. Three white lights, a good lift, and a new world record from Malik Benusi Triolet of France. What an exciting session we have. As you can see with a new world record at 221 kilos, Malik Benusi Triolet of France walks away with bench press gold. Jack Hopkins with 200 kilos walks away with silver and Aguen of Germany in bronze with 192.5. As we can see, the subtotals heading into deadlift. Benusi Triolet of France is leading with 516, followed by Hopkins of Great Britain, 482.5, and Aguin of Germany, 477.5. But we know that Messiah has a pull on him, got him onto the platform at Worlds, and could do more for him this time round. We will have to wait and find out. We will come back in 10 minutes' time for deadlifts. Don't go anywhere, we will see you then.
Hello and welcome back to the European Junior Classic Powerlifting Championships here in Budapest, Hungary. I'm Emilia Potter and this afternoon for you we have a very exciting 93 kilo class. As you can see here with the subtotals, Bonusi Triolet leading with 516 followed by Hopkins, Semich and Messiah. But it seems like France are playing games as his deadlift opener in is in at 220 kilos and I believe that is going to change significantly as time gets closer for them to put their final attempts in but we have another flight of lifters to go first before we will see who will walk away European champion and with every good lift in the lifters get they secure their total First to attempt to do so, Zach Koyinko of Mal Malta, 205 kilos. A nice solid opener and a good lift. have Luke Brincastellini of Malta, 220 kilos, opening on his current deadlift PB. That looks really nice. Three white lights, a good lift. Two hundred and forty kilos for Yuri Bilko of Czechia. Just like the rest of his lifts, wastes no time getting it done. Three white lights, a good lift. Schwarzenbach of Switzerland, 250 kilos. And that is a good lift. We now have Gerle Andras of Hungary, 250 kilos. Three white lights, a good lift. Now have Remy Tregan of Switzerland, 252.5 kilos. Looking for a nice easy opener to secure that total. 
just like that. And that is a good lift. It is always worth waiting for those lights. Because then if there is an infraction, you know what to fix next time round. Manos Mariotis of Greece, 255 kilos. Having a fantastic day so far. Doing the flick the water off my fingers. Set up for deadlift. Lovely and strong. Three white lights, a good lift. We now have Matic Paredos of Slovenia, 255 kilos for his opening attempt. Nice and snappy there. And that is a good lift. Three openers remaining before we head through to the second round of deadlifts for this first flight of 93s. Just a reminder, the A group will follow immediately. Jean-Philippe Head of Belgium, 260 kilos. And that is a good lift, three white lights. We now have Viktor Hubacek of Czechia, 267.5 kilos. Wow, lovely and quick there for Victor. He is having a fantastic day of lifting. Luka Hugarek of Croatia, 280 kilos, opening just six kilos below his current deadlift PB, and what I imagine is a Croatian record. Wow, super fast opener. Let's wait for the lights. Two to one, a good lift. He gets a blue from the far side referee. Let's have a look at that on the replay.
it will remain a good lift. And that concludes our opening attempts for this B flight on the 93s with Hugarek, Croatia leading. Zach Koenku of Malta, 212.5 kilos for his second attempt. Just seven and a half kilos below his current best. It looked slow but steady, and it is a good lift. Speed is not always an indicator of how good or bad a lift is. Some lifters just lift a little bit slower. Zach Quinku. Malta. No, sorry, this is Luke Brincastellini of Malta. 225 kilos. Again, another slow and steady lift. It looks good. Really white lights. Two hundred and sixty two point five kilos for Eric Schwarzenbach of Switzerland. Blocks it out. And that is a good lift for Schorzenbach. <laughs> 265 kilos for Galai Andras of Hungary. Big support from the crowd. 15 kilo jump and his opener was easy. <laughs> and still moving well. Three might like a good lift. Crowd gave him love and he gave them love right back. Then Trigon. We have a cheek for Trigon in Switzerland. Switzerland and half. Part is loaded. Remy Trigon. We now have Remy Trigon of Switzerland. 267.5 kilos for his second attempt, a 15 kilo jump from his opener. Just five kilos off his best deadlift. Let's go, up speed. Nice quick lock out there. After being patient off the floor. And it is a good lift. Next Tuesday, for two lifters of Rolf, first Ilko, and Borredo, Zaporo, Slovic, Yiri Bilko of Czechia now, a 30 kilo jump from his opener from 240 to 270 kilos. Wow, <laughs> makes great work of a big jump. Three white lights, a good lift. Two 
270 kilos for Matic Paredos of Slovenia. A 15 kilo jump from his opener. Still moving really nice and strong there. Three white lights, a good lift. Yeah. 272.5 kilos for Manos Mariotis of Greece. A 17 and a half kilo jump from his opener. Just seven and a half kilos of his best. Nice strong lockout at the end there. And a good lift. Jean-Philippe Haid of Belgium now, 272.5 kilos. A 12 and a half kilo jump and just half a kilo below his current deadlift PB. Which must be a record back home of sorts. Moving slowly, but it is moving. Manages to lock it out. That is a good lift. We have our penultimate deadlift before moving through to the third attempts. And then immediately after, we will go through to the A flight. As customary, the bar will be brushed down and cleaned in between each final attempt. But at any point, the coaches can request it. So right now, obviously, a second attempt that has been requested to be brushed down. And the bar is loaded for Viktor Hubacek of Czechia, 285 kilos. A 17 and a half kilo jump from his opener, just five kilos from his max of 290. Taking his time, but not with the lift. That moved excellently. Three white lights, a good lift. Final deadlift before moving through to the third and final attempts for this first flight on 93s. We have Luka Rugarek of Croatia, 295 kilos, a 15 kilo jump from his opener, nine kilos above his current best deadlift. Looking to take home a Croatian record here, I imagine.
He gets the bar up. Let's wait for the lights. Yeah, that's what I was a little worried about there. The Croatian coach goes to the jury and we'll watch the replay. He gets one white so he can contest it. But he just had a bit of a tip there at the top before getting the down command. And unfortunately, the jury do agree with him. And that concludes our second attempt deadlifts before we head through to the third and final attempts of flight B with Hubacek leading with 285, followed by Hugarek and Haid in bronze, but subject to change as we see the A flight come through. 220 kilos for Zach Koyunku of Malta for his final lift of the day. A great effort there from Zach. And a good lift. Bar is loaded for Luke Rincastellini of Malta, 230 kilos. Five kilo jump from his second. It'd be a personal best should he get this. Wow, it is slow, but it is moving. Manages to lock it out. And it is a good lift, a strong end to the day for Brin Castellini. Two hundred and seventy kilos for Eric Schwarzenbach of Switzerland. A seven and a half kilo jump from his second, and this will match his current deadlift yeah, PB. It is moving, ah, oh, unfortunately, just not there today for Eric, unfortunately. Great effort though, and a great day of lifting. Tregan of Switzerland, 277.5 kilos for a five kilo personal best. Wow, he got it moving. He stands it up. Let's wait for the lights. And that is a good lift. His patience wears off. What an incredible final pull there for Remy. Two 
277.5 kilos for Jean-Philippe Head Jean of Belgium. A five kilo oh. jump. And it'll be a new personal best for Jean-Philippe. Unfortunately, just a little too heavy today. He shakes the hands of the referees. Always lovely sportsmanship there. The six lifts remaining before we head through to the A flight. Magic Paredos of Slovenia, 277.5 kilos, a seven and a half kilo jump from his second. Needs the down command before the time runs out. 20 seconds. He stands up. Was it locked out? Let's see. Yes, it was. Three white lights. A good lift. Great day for the Slovenian athlete. Two hundred and eighty kilos now for Manos Mariotis of Greece. A match deadlift PB should he get this. His first year in the juniors showing a lot of promise. shaking but it's still moving did incredibly well to pull through that and it is a good lift wow what an incredible day he has had what a fantastic end to that day kilos for Gerle Andras of Hungary. This will be a match deadlift PB, but will give him a 700 kilo total. A big milestone total there. He gets it moving. Oh, unfortunately, he loses his grip. A fantastic effort from Andras. Bar is now loaded for Yuri Bilko of Czechia, 285 kilos. <laughs> Managed to lock it out. A good lift and a great end to a strong day. 
for Bilko. Just two deadlifts remaining before we head through to the A flight. Well, we will find out who walks away European champion. 295 kilos for Luka Gagarek of Croatia. Missed this on his second, looking to get it now here on his third. Be a big personal best should he get this. It's looking better, can he hold on to it and lock it out? Three white lights, a good lift. And he gets it now on his third attempt. Just one deadlift remaining here in the first flight. And that is for Viktor Hubacek of Czechia. 300 kilos, a huge milestone lift here. We'll end him on a huge PB total of 725 kilos. He was nominated with a 690 kilo total. So adding 35 kilos to it, should he get this? And he's got it moving. Can he lock it out? Oh, a shame. No lift, unfortunately. He misses that milestone, but still ends with a huge total PB. And that concludes the first flight of 93s. As we can see, the totals here with Hubacek leading, but that is subject to change as the openers of the flight A group come in. And we find out who walks away, European champion, who walks away in silver, who walks away in bronze. It will be a big fight all the way until the end. 240 kilos for Timotej Komanko of Slovenia. Bit of a tricky opener for him then. It looked good and it is a good lift. Three white lights. Two hundred and sixty kilos for Philip Marino Sanchez of the Netherlands. Nice solid looking opener for Philip. And a good lift. Two hundred and sixty two point five kilos for Jordi Cabela Edo of Spain. With each successful opening attempt, we see them secure a total for themselves. And Geordie does it with ease, it seems. Three white lights, a good lift. Two hundred and seventy kilos for Marcus Kruhofer of Denmark. Just twenty kilos below his deadlift PB. Uh, 
as I mentioned before, between every third deadlift, the bar will get brushed down, but it can be requested at any point. And the bar is loaded for Marcus. Nice, easy opener there, securing his total. Two hundred and seventy kilos for Carol van der Velpen of Belgium. Nice easy opener there. And a good lift secures his total. <laughs> Two hundred and eighty kilos for John Vertel's opening attempt. 20 kilos below his best of 300. And that is a good lift. And as suspected, the weight on the bar for his opener has gone up to 290 kilos, originally put in as 220. Keeping his opener a secret until the very last minute. That looked nice and easy for him. We just wait for the center referee light there. And it is a good lift. Now this is where he had a little bit of trouble in Romania. He was set to win, but then missed his second and third deadlift on grip. We have Semich, Germany, 295 kilos for his opening attempt. And it looks really strong. He is definitely a contender for podium yes. overall. And that is a good lift. Three opening attempts remaining. Before we head through to the second attempts. And the bar is loaded for Luca Umberto and Grisano of Italy, 300 kilos. His personal best sitting at 328. Lovely, easy opener for Luca. And it is a good lift. Three hundred kilos for Jack Hopkins of Great Britain up to his opener. looking to fight for those medals overall. 
And he's not going to go down easily. Wow, extremely easy for Jack. And that bodes very well heading into his second and third. Three white lights, a good lift. He checks anyway. But would you look at this in the replay? Now have 315 kilos from Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain. We know he has a big pull on him. Pulled himself onto the podium at Worlds a few weeks ago. Wow, a fantastic opening attempt for Nathaniel. Three white lights, a good lift. And this is shaping up to be a very exciting deadlift battle here at the end. Where Malik was able to make some ground up on bench. We can see the deadlift has come out now. With Messiah of Great Britain leading with 315, heading into second attempts, followed by Hopkins with 300. And Angrisano also on 300, but heavier. Now, Malik has done a great job of now creating a bit of a gap between him and second, but we will see what happens in deadlift as he has the lowest deadlift of the lot. Timotej Kormanko of Slovenia now, 252.5 kilos. And that is a good lift. We now have 270 kilos for Philip Marino Sanchez of the Netherlands, taking a 10 kilo jump from his opener. The clock is timing down, but I cannot see Philip. Perhaps allowing it to time down to give himself a longer break or perhaps mistimed in the back room but he will time out by the looks of it. So just another look at the totals as they stand right now with Bernoussi Triolet giving himself quite the gap in between himself and Hopkins and Messiah for now. As I mentioned before, he does have the lowest deadlift of the three of them. So usually bigger jumps can be made for those with bigger deadlifts, but we'll just have to see how that pans out as we're not sure whether it will be a fight for the gold or a fight for the silver. But we will find out very soon. We prepare the bar now for Jordi Corbella Edo of Spain. 280 kilos, just 10 kilos off his best deadlift of 290. And the bar is loaded for him. Wow, st still moving so excellently well. And that is a good lift.
We now have Marcus Kruhofer of Denmark, 285 kilos, jumping 15 from his opener, just five kilos below his current deadlift PB. Still moving nicely there for Marcus. Three white lights, a good lift. Two hundred and eighty five kilos for Carol van der Velpen of Belgium. Just two and a half kilos below his current deadlift PB. Gets the down command at a good time there. I think it was starting to slip. Three white lights, a good lift. Look at that again in the replay. Yeah, the bar was just about to slip, so he got the down command at the right time. 295 kilos for John Vertel of the Netherlands. 15 kilo jump from his opener, getting within just five kilos of his personal best. Still moving really smoothly. And that is a good lift for John. We now have Malik Benoussi Triolet of France, 302.5 kilos. Currently leading overall. He really needs to just make sure he keeps these kilos if he wants to stay in that position, as this is where he lost out in Romania by dropping his second and third deadlift. Ooh. And it looks like he's put himself in a potentially similar situation leaving the gap open giving it a chance there for the british athletes to catch up as i said before they have bigger deadlifts on them so have the ability to do so and we will find out as it comes through to those third attempts but it's just got a lot more interesting Semich Aguin of Germany, 312.5 kilos on the bar. Now this actually moves him into silver place overall for the time being. As I said, don't count him out. And it's still moving well. He puts himself in a great position to maybe pull for the podium. Now have Luca Umberto Angristano of Italy. A little out the race for overall, but could definitely be a contender for a deadlift medal. Three hundred and seventeen point five kilos for his second attempt. A seventeen and a half kilo jump from his opener.
And it's looking good. Definitely a contender for a deadlift medal there. Three white lights, a good lift. Just two deadlifts remaining before we head into the third attempt where we will find out who walks away. 93 kilo European champion here at the Junior Powerlifting Championships in Budapest. Jack Hopkins of Great Britain, one of the contenders, 317.5 kilos for his second attempt. And it is moving, and it is moving well. Three white lights, a good lift, and Hopkins puts himself in a fantastic position heading into third attempt. It is going to be a tight battle all the way until the end. You are not going to want to move for the next 10 minutes. We have one deadlift remaining before we head through to the third and final attempt to figure out who will walk away with European champion in the 93s. There's a lot of names in the mix and one of those is Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain jumping 20 kilos to 335 for his second attempt. And it is moving quickly. He has plenty left in the tank. Three white lights, a good lift. And I have a feeling he's going to put on the bar what he needs to pull for position. And he has the advantage of putting in the highest number and choosing it. As you can change that final attempt. As you can see, it has got a lot closer in the last few minutes. Malik Banusi Triole missing that second attempt allowed Messiah and Hopkins to sneak up, but then Semech of Germany is not so far behind. It is a tight race. Who will be European champion? France, Britain, or Germany? We will find out very, very soon. And if Benussi Triolet cannot hold on to that final deadlift, it is anybody's game. So don't go anywhere as we head now into our third and final attempts. Kicking us off, we have Timotej Kolmanko of Slovenia, 265 kilos. Uh, unfortunately, a little too heavy today. We now have Jordi Bella Edo of Spain, 292.5 kilos. This will be for a two and a half kilo PB. making sure every lifter has the best opportunity to pull on their third and final attempt. Jordi Corbea Edo of Spain, 292.5 kilos for a deadlift PB, 12 and a half kilo jump for him in second, which still moved extremely quick.
Wow, and so did his third. A great day for Geordie. Three white lights, a good lift. We now have Marcus Kruhofer of Denmark going for a new personal best and a huge milestone of 300 kilos. A 15 kilo jump from his second and it'll be a 10 kilo personal best. 300 kilos is a huge milestone for any athlete. Well, unfortunately not. One side of the bar was able to break the floor, but when the other side doesn't go, it makes for a very difficult job. <laughs> 300 kilos remains on the bar for Carol van der Velpen of Belgium. A 15 kilo jump for a huge milestone lift. It'll be a 12 and a half kilo personal best should he get this. As I said before, a huge milestone. Wow, it's moving. Oh, and such a shame. Just could not hold on to it. But a valiant effort. just six deadlifts remaining before you will find out who walks away European champion 302.5 kilos for John Vertel of the Netherlands for a two and a half kilo personal best And again, gets the down command just in the nick of time, it seems. Three white lights, a good lift, and a very strong end to the day, embracing head coach Piotr there. Now, four of the five next deadlifts will be fighting for position. First of which is a very, very important one. If Malik Bernisi Triolet gets this, he makes a really difficult job for the British athletes fighting for first. 305 kilos for Malik Bernisi Triolet. Mystery 2.5 on grip. This will increase the gap, keeping him in first place overall. And he, oh, yet again, goes one for three on deadlifts because of grip which really opens up the door there for the British athletes to jump ahead of him. And the first of which is up next. This is for everything. This will give Jack Hopkins first place overall for the time being. And then it will be his to defend A huge final pull for Jack Hopkins of Great Britain. Readies himself to pull into first place to give himself a chance to become European champion. 325 kilos for Jack Hopkins of Great Britain. 
to pull himself into first place overall. And it is moving. Can he lock it out? It looks like he can. Three white lights. Jack moves into first place overall. And now all he can do is wait. As one more person is looking to take that away from him. But it seems like the champion will be British, but who will it be, Nathaniel or Jack? Three hundred and thirty kilos for Semich Aiguen of Germany. This will pull him into silver overall and on deadlift for the time being. And it is moving. He locks it out. He has had a fantastic day. Three white lights, a good lift. He pulls himself into silver overall from nominated fifth. But again, all he can do now is wait. There is still one lifter in contention for the podium to go. But even before that, looking for a deadlift medal. We have two deadlifts remaining before we will find out who walks away European champion. Luca Umberto Angrizano of Italy, 335 kilos to move him into deadlift gold. He breaks the floor and with ease locks it out. Moves himself into deadlift gold. But another lifter who can only wait, it is not safe yet. There is one lifter who is looking to steal it all. One deadlift remaining. Pulled himself into bronze at the World Championships. Wants to pull himself into gold here to become European champion. Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain, 342.5 kilos for the win. He locks it out. We wait for the lights. Nathaniel Messiah is your new European champion. Ladies and gentlemen, what an exciting session we've had. And what an excellent end to an exciting story. An amazing end there. And with deadlift gold, your new European champion, Nathaniel Messiah, with 342.5 in silver. Luca Umberto Angrizano of Italy with silver and Semi Agun of Germany with bronze. Now overall with quite the turn. Nathaniel Messiah of Great Britain in gold with 810 kilos. Jack Hopkins of Great Britain in silver with 807.5 kilos. Semi Agun of Germany in bronze on body weight with 807.5 kilos and off the podium nominated first athlete Malik Benoussi Triolet of France. What a turnaround we have seen. Do not ever rely on nominations as this is a great example of that. Please stick around for the medal ceremony we will have very shortly. Don't go anywhere, we will see you then.
So it is a big pleasure for me to announce we have a new international category two referee, Mr. Andras Kromek. What? The new director of the championship. Thank you. Thank you, Andras. Thank you. Thank you. So now we give the participation medal. Start with uh, squat. It is uh, 93 kilo category junior. The bronze medal NBN Semit from Germany. Perhaps you did watch this from Switzerland, you did watch. <laughs> okay, now we start with the bench press, with the bronze medal, NBN Semit from Germany. The silver medal of Kinchak from Great Britain. Thank you. Now we 
deadlift. We have the bronze medal and we have the meet from Germany. Silver medal, Andrizano Luca Roberto from Italy. And the gold medal, Mystery Under 42 kilo point five from Great Britain, Massia Natagella. Thank you. 